standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. Man, do I love that new spaceship smell. Let's check out the radio. Pilots Federation alert. Bounty hunters are advised that credit rewards for successfully destroyed targets have been increased. With the widespread redirection of resources toward faction and superpower militaries, local security forces are struggling to provide effective intrasystem policing. Coupled with a rise in piracy and violent crime, this has led to a need for supplementary ships and manpower in the majority of systems. Wow, that seems like the perfect opportunity for a guy with a new pilot's license and no moral qualms about committing homicide for money. I'll be stinking rich in no time. Ah, look, the wee baby Barry here to see me off. Sorry, kid, but I don't have room for you in the Sidewinder. You'll have to stay here with the nanny droid I built for you until I get a bigger ship. Screw you. Manus, that helmet isn't fooling anyone. I'm not a child and that nanny droid is just a second-hand Achilles sex bot you tried to reprogram. As soon as you left, it started calling itself Fisto, and it keeps ordering me to assume the position. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, you're welcome? Like you said, you're a grown-up. You and Fisto can do whatever you want. The less I know, the better. In the meantime, you'll want to watch out for that thrust report. Wait, what? Ah! Dun dun, da da dun, da da dun, da da dun. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. 07 Commanders, Nuggets, and Empty Triangles, Mando Dextra here with Chapter 1 of my Comprehensive Guide to Bounty Hunting. In honor of FDev's recent buff to combat payouts, I've decided to start a new career and play this game the way I always wanted to, as a professional mercenary slash bounty hunter. Here are a few rules I've set for myself. First, I'm only playing an open. B. Combat will be my primary source of income and I'll only do other activities as necessary to unlock engineers and gather engineering materials. And rule number three, I'll be using fixed primary weapons. That last rule is mostly to keep things interesting for me. At this point, I've logged hundreds of hours using gimbaled weapons and I just want to try something new. Most combat builds in this series will be geared towards PvE since NPC bounty hunting and assassination missions are a primary source of income. But, since I'll be playing in open, PvP is always a possibility, and I don't want to be a complete pushover. As such, I'll try to engineer my defenses with PvP in mind, and I'll use weapon configurations with high alpha strike potential. But before we do that, we're going to earn a million credits or so in the starting Sidewinder. So after you go through the starting tutorial, you'll get a mission to fly to Moss and Dock in the Dromi system. There's a high activity resource extraction site about 300 light seconds away. This will be our happy hunting ground in the starter zone. If you're a Nugget, I'd recommend staying here until you get a handle on flying and make 10 to 20 million credits. That will be enough to buy and outfit a good combat ship once you get out in the real galaxy. If you're new to the game, resource extraction sites, commonly referred to as reses, are locations found in planetary ring systems where NPC miners go to mine and NPC pirates go to pirate. Because of this, they make excellent places for players to bounty hunt. Resource extraction sites come in many flavors, such as low, medium, and high. This describes the amount of activity you can expect to find in each. In addition to miners and pirates, these sites also have system authority ships on patrol. As long as you know what you're doing, a new commander and a sidewinder will be fine bounty hunting here. As I'll demonstrate, what you'll want to do is follow the system authority ships around and help them fight the bad guys. 
As long as you land a shot or two before the pirate explodes, you'll get credit for the bounty. I'd like to say nice move, but I think we both know that was incredibly lucky. One exception to this is when other players are firing at the same ship. In this case, the bounty will be awarded to the last player to land a shot. However, wingmates will always share bounties. Because of this, I always offer to wing up with other hunters in the res. That way, everyone makes money. Also, be sure your target scans as wanted before you open fire. Otherwise, the system authority's next target will be you. One last very important thing to know about resource extraction sites. Until you get good and get a better ship, you'll want to avoid the last type, commonly called the HAZRES. Resource extraction sites classified as hazardous do not have security patrols, so you'll be on your own against the bad guys here. And if you don't have a good ship and know what you're doing, you'll be going to the rebuy screen in short order. After only a few minutes of helping the cops, I managed to earn about 1.3 million credits. So I went back to Moss and Dock to cash in my bounties and buy a new ship. For combat starting out, your best bet is either a Viper Mark III or a Cobra Mark III. Right out of the shipyard, the Cobra is a better ship, and very versatile, but it's also more expensive. I chose the Viper because it's one of my all-time favorite ships, and since I'm playing as a dedicated combat pilot, I wanted to stick with combat ships. As far as upgrading goes, your options in the starter zone will be very few. For core internals, you will be limited to Class D modules at best, but they're better than the Class E modules you'll get with the new ship. So, upgrade what you can. Just be sure you have enough money to cover a rebuy if your ship gets destroyed. The rebuy is 5% of the ship's actual costs and should be listed at the bottom of the outfitting screen as well as the ship's right-hand panel. Weapon choices will also be very limited. I went with fixed medium frag cannons and fixed small pulse lasers because this gave me the best DPS. However, since we're just helping the system authority ships here, we don't need that much firepower. So you could go with all pulse lasers since fixed lasers are much easier to hit with. After outfitting my new Viper, I went back to the local high res and ended up winging with a couple more new commanders. Together, we did pretty well triple teaming the bad guys, but I managed to make another 15 million credits in about an hour or so. It was a lot of fun. I gotta say, this was definitely a huge improvement over the last time I restarted about a year ago. Then, my goal was to make 10 million credits bounty hunting before leaving the starter zone. However, I gave up and settled for 7 million after about 10 hours of grinding. But this time, after only 2 or 3 hours, I have more than enough money to aerate my Viper and I'm ready to head out into the big bad open galaxy. In the next chapter, we'll upgrade the Viper and find a new home base. Until then, Commanders, good hunting. cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.